Welcome to the second lecture on central force. In this video, I am going to prove one of the characteristic of central force that is angular momentum is conserved under action of central force. We know angular momentum vector L is equals to R cross P where R is position vector and P is linear momentum vector. If you just take time derivative of this L vector, then we will get dl dt is equals to r cross dp dt plus dr dt cross p. It is known to us from second law that uh, rate of change of momentum is force. Therefore, we can just write dp dt as f force and time derivative of position vector is nothing but the velocity. So, dr dt can be written as v where v is velocity vector. Also, momentum is nothing but mass into velocity. So, P vector can be written as M into V. Now, from the property of cross product, we know the cross product between two same vector is 0. That is V cross V is equals to 0 as M is a constant quantity. So, M can be taken outside and we can write V cross M V as V cross V vector which is equals to 0. And as we are talking about the central force, from the definition of central force, which I have discussed in the previous video, that central force is always directed towards or away from a point, and its magnitude is function of position of the point from the center. Therefore, the central force F can be written as some function of distance into R cap, where R cap is the unit vector along the line joining the center and that point right that we have already seen in the previous video so we can simply write dl dt is equals to r cross f r cap okay now as f is a scalar quantity we can take it out and then we will have f multiplied by r vector cross r cap and as r vector and r cap both are in same direction therefore their cross product is again zero therefore we can simply write dl dt is equals to zero now from this equation dl dt is equals to zero it is very obvious that l must be a constant vector if l is constant then it won't change with time that is angular momentum is conserved under action of central force so hope this proof is clear to you. In the next video, I will prove some other characteristics of central force. See you.